Hello friends, happy Fish and Fowl Day, also known as Thursday, or I would even prefer to say Thor's Day. I wanted to talk about flat stuff. Flat floor, flat tabletop, flat table. Let's go up the stairs. We got some flat steps going up the stairs, flat landing. Here's yet another flat floor. Have you ever heard of houses that have crooked floors? They're not exactly what people want. By the way, I just realized this bed. I forgot to completely flatten it out. See what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what I recommend you to do. In, in your mind, hit the flat button like this and watch what happens. That's right. So, you hit the flat button in your mind and uh, you can be set free from deception from the spherical theories. By the way, here's a bathtub with water in it and notice how the water lies flat. And by the way, the floor of the tub is not flat. It's higher here than it is here, but when it comes to the actual water, it lies flat. So think of the earth as a giant bathtub. And so you got the uh, seas or oceans of the earth, and then all the way around you've got Antarctica, the ice wall, holding it all in so that nobody's going to fall off the edge of anything so what i'm saying is it's just plain practical it's just like in this house the floors are flat the tables are flat stuff is just flat that's how it works that's how you live when you want to play a game of something whether it's soccer football hockey basketball it's always going to be on a flat surface and so it's really only common sense that we live on a flat, motionless plane. That's another thing. Uh, I don't feel this house moving. Okay, and uh, there is a term for when you hear the Earth moving. It's called an earthquake, and it's the exception and not the rule. So, uh, by the way, I mean, you think that um, the Earth is a uh, spherical planet orbiting the Sun because of Isaiah forty. 22, where it talks about the circle of the earth. But then in the same verse, he talks about how he has spread the heavens like a tent over the earth. And if you're going to pitch a tent somewhere, where are you going to pitch that tent? On a hill? On a spherical hill? Of course not. You'd have a miserable sleep. That would make no sense whatsoever. You're looking for flat ground to pitch your tent. Now, of those heavens, we've got a moon we can quickly look at. Let's zoom in. There it is. So notice how it's a waxing gibbous moon, and the lit side of the moon is facing up and to the right. And by the way, I've had to realize a lot of people think that the Earth's, that the Moon's phases are caused by the shadow of the Earth on the Moon. Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Even sun worshippers would never claim that the phases of the Moon are caused by the shadow of the Earth. They claim that it's lunar eclipses that are caused by the shadow of the Earth on the Moon not the phases of the moon. They claim that that's caused by the sun reflecting off the moon. Now, my challenge to you would be the only way for the sun to be reflecting off the moon would be for the sun to be up and to the right. So right about, let's get my finger in here, somewhere up here, okay? But the sun is not there. 
there's the moon out there. In fact, let's look at the moon and then the sun outside real quick. It's pretty cold out here. But I want to show you. So there's the moon up there. And then the sun is way over here. Any questions? Actually, 